What was the Caribbean like five million years ago? Were environmental conditions different than today? And what marine life inhabited these ancient seas? While we can't physically travel back in time to make these observations, rocks and fossils provide an amazing archive for studying the life and environmental conditions in the past. Rocks and fossils in the Dominican Republic, particularly the Cibao Valley, formed between six and three million years ago when the island was below sea level. One striking feature of the rocks exposed in the Cibao Valley is the presence of many fossil corals and coral reefs from before humans existed. Fossil coral reefs, much like buildings, are built of bricks and mortar. The bricks or framework of the reef is composed of the skeletons of the coral animal. These skeletons are then bound together by reef sediments and other living things that cement the reef together. By binding the coral skeletons in place, reefs build up to form large underwater structures. Modern reef structures are so large that some can be seen from outer space. Coral reefs commonly occur in warm tropical to subtropical seas in shallow waters lacking nutrients. These are the conditions most suitable for a coral to grow. Coral animals use chemicals found in seawater to build their skeletons. Corals combine calcium and carbonate ions in the seawater to form the mineral aragonite. A coral skeleton may be sliced open and x-rayed to reveal yearly growth bands. Each pair of dark and light bands indicates one year of skeletal growth. The dark bands are denser and indicate growth in the winter, and the lighter bands are less dense and form during the summer months. By analyzing the chemical composition of the skeleton as it grew, scientists can determine the temperature at which a coral was growing and how temperatures varied seasonally in corals millions of years old. Analysis of fossil corals from the Dominican Republic suggests that five million years ago the Caribbean Sea was several degrees cooler than today with much greater seasonal temperature fluctuation. Different coral species can usually be distinguished by their morphology or shape. Some corals form a branching morphology, while others are, can be more massive or flat and platy. These differences in morphology are adaptations to different environmental conditions on the reef. Modern reef corals with a platy morphology are found in deeper water, where their flat shapes are ideal for capturing sunlight and food in the darker waters. Morphology, therefore, can be used to interpret the depth and environmental conditions of a fossil reef from millions of years ago. Some of the same fossil corals in the Dominican Republic are alive today, indicating that some species can live for millions of years with few evolutionary changes. Other living corals, such as the elkhorn coral, Acropora palmata, cannot be found in the rocks of the Sabao Valley indicating that this coral species evolved more recently. Fossil corals tell us much about how and why ocean life evolves. The Caribbean today is very different from the recent past. Between six and three million years ago, there were over 100 different coral species inhabiting the Caribbean Sea. Today, there are only 70 different Caribbean reef coral species. Corals suffered a huge extinction event roughly 2 million years ago, explaining this loss of biodiversity in the Caribbean. This extinction event is thought to be associated with changing environmental conditions that coincided with the formation of the Isthmus of Panama that separated the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as the onset of glaciation in the Northern Hemisphere. By understanding how fossil reefs responded to this past environmental crisis, scientists hope to better understand how reefs might be affected by future climatic and environmental changes. Global warming appears to be occurring 
in part due to human activities such as the excess production of carbon dioxide. Fossil reefs, especially those from the Dominican Republic, are showing us how past environmental changes caused the evolution of some species, but the extinction of others. By understanding ancient climate change before humans existed, we will better understand its likely impact on life on Earth in the future. Thank you.